video is going to be a review of the Portland saw that you can get at Harbor Freight. It's a 10 inch rapid pull saw. Um, good and bad reviews online about this. There are other pull saws online that are Japanese pull saws that are supposed to be substantially better. I've never owned a pull saw. It cuts on the pull instead of the push. So we're just going to do a real quick review test and see how it works if I can get it out of the package. Um, comes with a protective cover, 10 inches long, and steel blade, 15 teeth per inch, and that's what I'm looking for so I can hopefully get a nice uh, smooth cut on some lumber. And maybe I'll do a test on the plywood too, I'm not sure yet. If my videos help you out, please do a thumbs up, subscribe, or like if you want me to uh, do a review of any product, let me know. If I can get a hold of it, I will. And if you want to link this to any website, feel free to. The first time that I've used one of these C-clamps that I also picked up from Harbor Freight, they cost about $2.99 a piece, um, 6 inch opening, and you just can't beat the price for something like this at Harbor Freight compared to the other stores. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but it's going to make the sawing much safer for me. Here we go. Um, first time using a pull saw. So normally it would cut on this way, this direction, on a standard saw. But on a pull saw, it cuts on the pull. So it seems to be digging into the wood much easier than most saws. I'm going to secure this a little better. on an angle. But let's try it. I'm going to start on a new line. I just put a line on here. Let's see how evenly it cuts. So this is going to be a test on which cuts better. A pull saw, a jigsaw, or a circular saw. The blade is definitely flimsy. I'm sure a better saw would have a sturdier blade, so I don't like that. Then it could make it very difficult and time consuming to use this type of saw. So you're going to have to go really slow, or otherwise the saw is going to bend and break very easily. Put a second clamp on here. Maybe if you can get this thing clamped down, you get a, uh, an easier time cutting. It looks like it's staying on line. But again, you have to cut real slow. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a difficult cut. So if you were doing this on a 4x8, it might take you a couple weeks. Small pieces of wood, this would be perfect. Hobby type things.
so far a very nice even cut. Um, again, if you were doing this on a 4x8 or a 2x4, this might, well, this is a 2x4. Lumber, yes, uh, plywood could take you forever. But we'll see what the results are. Okay, let's get back in there. again is my big issue but uh, again the saw is staying perfectly on line it's impressive regular hand saw this would not be happening so we're almost finished standard saw this is where you end up with problems you get to the very last piece and the last part of the sign and the, it breaks off it splinters off so we'll see what happens with that so far I'm pretty happy it's definitely a time-consuming thing it is not an easy saw to use it's kind of flimsy it does seem to be making a nice cut Pull, push, pull, push, pull, pull. Okay, we're almost at the end. And it's going to splinter off because I can't really hold this securely. I'm going to do light pressure. But it wants to break off right now. Okay, that's where it splintered. Let's see what we get. Actually, it splintered on the other side of the board. Um, wow. All right, let me take off the clamp so you can see the results. Again, this is the saw from Harbor Freight. And let's look at that. That is impressive. Unbelievable. I've never seen a saw cut so perfectly before. Um, <laughs> perfectly smooth, perfectly smooth around the edges. Maybe if I would have put some tape on there, a little bit of sanding. Um, look how clean that cut is. Absolutely smooth and perfect. And this is the part. This was cut off with a, a different saw, obviously. Look how chewed up it is. And this is the pull saw from Harbor Freight. So there is no doubt that using a pull saw is a really good way to go if you want clean cuts. Extremely slow. Uh, again, there are other companies that make these. This is flimsy. It's great towards the back by the handle, but over here, really flimsy. And some of the others they sell have a thicker blade, and they don't uh, they don't flex like this. All right, so my review is if you want to get a really good clean cut, and you have the time and the patience, this is a really neat way to go for cutting lumber. As far as plywood, I don't really know. 